Welcome to the Illinois State University Writing Program Learning Outcome Tutorial Series. In this lesson, we'll be talking about assessment, specifically peer assessment. As you might recall from the prior video in this series, formative assessment can help you make course corrections while you're in the middle of an assignment. While summative assessment provides feedback on a finished assignment, such as the grade you get back on an exam. Peer assessment is an opportunity for you to give and receive feedback on an assignment with people who are also working on the same assignment. Peer assessment has two big advantages. First, being able to evaluate a piece of writing requires detailed knowledge of that writing task. In other words, your own skill expands when you evaluate a peer's work. Working with your peers provides a more collegial, collaborative environment than relying solely on instructive feedback. That way, instead of dealing with a surly professor, you can work with other students. Note that the ISU writing program does not endorse surliness in our instructors or high seas piracy, puppet-based or otherwise. When asked to do a peer assessment, there are several things you want to think about. First, specific practices will vary from instructor to instructor. What we're about to share are just general suggestions. Your instructor may ask you to give feedback in a certain format. Second, always read the entire text before you start offering feedback. A question or comment that you come up with on the first pass may be irrelevant by the time you get through the entire work. When looking through a peer's work, think about the ways in which their creations align with your understanding of the specific writing task at hand. At the formative stage, such as a rough draft workshop, the more helpful thing, uh, the, the most helpful feedback rather, is usually global. That is, talk about trends, features, big picture ideas. Comments on detail work, grammar, spelling, formatting, should come later. Feedback should be open and honest without being mean. You're not doing anyone a favor by saying their work is good when it isn't, but being too critical without looking for positive aspects will impact your working relationship. Feedback should be well-rounded. Find something your peer is doing well, something they could do better at, and something that made you think. Thanks for joining us today. In our next video, we'll be looking at the fine art of self-assessment. Until then, have a great day.